All right, this is today's project. This is an exhaust manifold off of uh, Deer 8620, I believe. It is pretty damaged on the sides, um, so it needs to be cleaned up a little bit before it be reinstalled, especially around this port here. It's damaged. All right, so we'll set this thing up. I'll show you how that how I'm going to do that. And uh, this is a good size uh, um, cylinder. You can see uh, here's a hammer. It's a good size manifold, a decent sized diesel tractor, and turbo ports here. So we'll uh, set this up and I'll show you how I'm gonna try to do this. All right, so on this manifold, uh, it was tricky to set up. It was pivoting uh, by the flange uh, where the turbocharger connects. So I added up, uh, I didn't get it on video, but I had to flip uh, the manifold over onto the table again, uh, fasten down to the table with the flange where, where it connects to the block, down on the table, clamp it down, and on the uh, where the mounting studs go through the manifold to the block, I ended up machining uh, the tops of those um, where the nut would go to connect to the engine. I machined all of them on the same plane except for one of the outside flanges. Uh, I had to machine 400 thousandths uh, off. I only took like uh, 30 thou off each one to get them on the same plane. I then flipped it to the setup that you're looking at right now. I clamped uh, with toe clamps as close as I could. Uh, the um, the manifold's up on one, two, three blocks to ensure that it is uh, being held parallel to the surface I milled on the opposite side. Uh, the, once I got that other side parallel to the flange surface, it was a pretty gravy setup. Uh, machined pretty easy. I was ended up taking about 30 thou a pass. I thought 30 thou would clean it up. Um, ended up on the um, Earlier, I pointed out the one area that was pretty damaged. Ended up taking about a sixteenth of material to clean up the entire manifold. Uh, the end results: the manifold uh, on a surface plate, I could not get a three thou shim underneath, so it was within three thou flatness, which is plenty good for this application. Um, I uh, just hand jogged this; it wasn't worth writing a program or anything. Uh, pretty free cutting inserts. Pretty pretty easy setup. Didn't take very long. Uh, just hand jogged it and used it as a basic uh, big manual machine. Uh, that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed.